Union leaders threatened strikes and warned Volkswagen against making what they called a historic mistake. Trade unions and VW company executives kicked off landmark pay talks Wednesday. It's likely to decide how aggressively Europe's biggest automaker pursues layoffs and possible factory closures in Germany. Tensions are running high as VW has threatened to close plants in the country for the first time. That's put it at odds with the key IG Metall union which has vowed to fight any such moves. The union must also negotiate new labour deals for the core VW brand's 130,000 workers in Germany. Earlier this month, the automaker ended agreements that had safeguarded employment at six of its plants there since the mid-90s. Worker representatives have vowed to resist job cuts and blamed top management and the government's faltering support for the automaker's problems. Torsten Groger is chief negotiator for IG Metall. This current crisis is not caused by the workforce, but by a series of blatantly wrong decisions and misjudgments by management. Even if the current managers are no longer all responsible for the past, the current managers are responsible for ensuring that in the future it will all continue in an orderly manner. IG Metall threatened strikes which are possible from the start of December and insisted on a 7% pay rise. Daniela Cavallo is chair of VW Works Council. We are currently experiencing something that many at Volkswagen did not think was possible, especially among the workforce. Over the past decades, we have repeatedly overcome crises together as Volkswagen. She said they were prepared to compromise, but added it was now up to management to find a solution. VW argues high energy and labour costs in Germany make it harder to compete with European peers. It's also warned Chinese rivals want to grab a big chunk of the region's electric vehicle market. The VW brand's personnel chief said the division must cut costs to stay competitive. He called the firm's situation serious and said labour and management must work together on restructuring. Other German automakers feel the pain too. BMW and Mercedes-Benz both cut their profit forecasts in recent weeks due to weak demand in China.